publishing industry today is intertwined with advanced technology. So our sector needs to be on par, if not ahead of the curve. And that's the only way that we can survive. For this to happen, it's very important that publishers invest in learning and capacity development. Continuous learning needs to be a routine part of your business strategy. We launched the IPA Academy last March with the aim of providing all of our members with world-class content and knowledge on technical and business challenges that we face today. And guess what? It's free for all of the ICAPI members. So please take advantage of this and use all of the courses that are available on the IPA Academy. Invite your teams to study and benefit from our courses and from any other training opportunities that are on offer. You know, publishers have been looking forward to this Congress, especially since we missed the last one scheduled to be in Lillehammer because of COVID. And I just want to say we need each other now more than ever. We need to listen to each other, especially at these difficult times. We need new ideas, solutions to the complex challenges that we're facing every day. But one thing I want to share with you today is how impressed I am by publishers and their resilience. It's something that I've always believed, but seeing it on the ground after such a challenging period is nothing but inspiring. So I'm really proud of each and every one of you, and I'm happy and excited to participate in this Congress, especially in such a dynamic region of the world. to welcome you to the 33rd International Publishers Congress. It was no surprise that Jakarta was recently selected as a UNESCO City of Literature, the first city to receive this honor in Southeast Asia. Since its first edition, the International Publishers Congress has been an important platform for global publishers to meet, discuss key themes shaping the present and future of our industry. Today, climate change and the essential measures we need to make our business more sustainable continue to pose a complex risk to our operations. No one market or region has the solution to face this complex issue. And therefore, we must collaborate with everyone in the industry and move at an even pace so we emerge at the other side stronger together. Thank you. Publisher is all about translating words into action. I'm so delighted to have women from South America, Asia and the Caribbean here representing, I would say, the diversity of publishing. Beautiful and important to be uniqueness, to be you, and always important to belong. So the movement is about this. When we are together, we see a lot, a lot of things that we are very similar. Sometimes we're not so self-confident, sometimes we don't know anything, or don't know everything, and sometimes we are very different, it is okay. So for me, it's about sharing stories. We need to make information about the publishing industry more accessible to anyone, anywhere, so anyone, including women, can start their business in, in the publishing industries. I think one of the most urgent messages I wanted to share today about what we can do as women. We have a crisis unfolding in education. So for me, I think one of the things I'd love coming out of this session is to meet more women from my region and other parts of the world who I can possibly collaborate with to provide more access to, to books for children.
I sincerely hope that each and every one of you will leave this Congress feeling empowered, positive, and fully supported by one another. This is the last time I will address you at this Congress as IPA president. It has been truly a privilege and an honor to be part of this community and to meet so many wonderful people, many of whom are now dear friends. Publishers all over the world overwhelmed me with their generosity, hospitality, and most importantly, they inspired me by their resilience and passion to fight to continue to grow this essential industry. I wish you the best of luck in the next few years, and I would like to end by saying a big thank you to all of you from the bottom of my heart. I wish you all the best for the future, and I hope our paths cross again. Thank you.